You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Last week we discussed a brand new film from documentarian Jeff Fuerzig. And I highly recommended his previous film, The Devil and Daniel Johnston. About the amazing singer-songwriter, cult artist, Daniel Johnston. Remember the shirt Kurt Cobain always wore? Hi, how are you? With a little alien. That's, that's Daniel Johnston's drawing and album. The Devil and Daniel Johnston is an amazing film about the tortured genius of Daniel Johnston. And it's set and shot all around West Virginia. So I don't believe where he's originally from, but it's where the family has spent most of their time and his parents still live to this day, if they are both actually still alive at this point. Obviously, documentaries can take a long time to make because it's been several years since that film, and now Jeff Furzig's latest film. We played the trailer for it last week and discussed it. It's called Author, the J.T. Leroy story. Now again, a huge thanks to Benjamin Seagram on the tweets. We talked about this a little bit afterwards. He went and listened to one of the latest episodes of WTF with Mark Marin, where he had on not only filmmaker Jeff Fjorzig, but JT Leroy, a.k.a. Laura Albert. He listened to the entire episode and actually transcribed and pointed out some of the really interesting angles in this interview. Now, I do not have clips I'm going to play for you. However... We do have the transcriptions that I will post up to MediaMonarchy.com as a PDF. It's eight pages, and it's just some of the highlights. And again, the download of the episode is easy. We'll include that in the show notes. You can do it audio. He even posts it up on YouTube, just with the audio that you listen to. We'll include that in the show notes again as we include everything we say and play in the notes. You don't have to email me and ask me where it was. It's going to be in the notes. So the long and short of it is, as WTF copy says, whether you know the story of J.T. Leroy or not, you certainly haven't heard an episode of WTF like this. First, Mark talks with filmmaker Jeff Furzig about documenting the rise and fall of literary phenom J.T. Leroy, a celebrated young man who was later revealed to be the creation of Laura Albert. Then Laura joins Mark in the garage to explain what gave birth to her infamous alter ego and to provide some insight into her life. Now, again, I'll point you back to last Friday's September 9th episode of The Morning Monarchy where we played the trailer, which audio-wise you can just sort of hear and you get the story. They call it a literary hoax. Created this character somehow got some stuff published, and then the celebrity literati came out of the woodwork. Winona Ryder loves her. Billy Corgan calls her up, referring to himself hilariously as the Corganator. Basically, J.T. Leroy existed as just a voice on a phone for many, many years. Then, the two of them are out in the world. They're meeting Bono. And Laura, that's interesting, sort of her mystical understanding of show business and portals and levels. Uh, yes, Bono summoned her. Bono was ordaining or giving her the magic code to rise to the next level. These are quotes from WTF. The big advice from Bono was basically, watch out for the assholes. And then Billy Corgan comes in. She believes that Billy's a portal of some kind or a gifted being who understands her and she tells everything to Billy Corgan. He had written openly about abuse, so she felt like they were kindred spirits. Now, I'm getting ahead of myself. Basically, the transcripts from the WTF podcast show that Laura Albert was really into calling up suicide hotlines as a kid and acting like they were an underage boy who might be interested in turning tricks or phone sex. So as Jeff Furzig, the director, says, yeah, so by the time she calls as Terminator... She used to make up all these character names. So by the time she calls as Terminator, Jeremiah Terminator Leroy, J.T. Leroy, in San Francisco, I don't know, 20-something years later, she calls a hotline. Dr. Terrence Owen picks up. That could have been like the 17th thousandth call she's ever made as a boy at this point. So basically, someone who's damaged, who has an abusive upbringing, gets off by calling suicide hotlines and doing imaginary phone sex. Then, somewhere out of the blue, a guy named Dr. Terrence Owens answers the phone. 
And when they start talking, that's where the writing comes from. That's how the first story gets published. That's how J.T. Leroy became a thing. For me, the most interesting part of this, and this is where I'll leave it for you. And again, we will include and post up this PDF of all the transcripts. Again, a huge thanks to at Benjamin Seagram on the tweets for the huge help. As to who Dr. Owen's friends were, we can only speculate. However, it is worth noting that Dr. Terrence Owens is a former clinician with the Masonic Center for Youth and Families located in San Francisco's Presidio area. It's right next to the Sarah Preschool and just down the way from the Walt Disney Family Museum and Old Mason Street. As this character got larger... The powers that shouldn't be started sniffing around. They became interested. As soon as they heard there might be an underage boy who's into it, that's where it comes from. So while that's not Winona Ryder or Billy Corgan, it's the devils on up the chain. So the speculation is there that the powers that shouldn't be, the people who hang out with Bill Clinton and fly around, the Jeffrey Epsteins of the world, the Jimmy Savills, if you will. Those devils started sniffing around because they thought there was a new bit of fresh meat. But it was but it wasn't. It was all Laura Albert on the phone acting like a boy. So is it possible the only reason this hoax finally popped was because the devils wanted to kill. They wanted to eat. Really strange. Really bizarre. That's why that's holy hexes. Again, a huge thanks to Benjamin Seagram. I'm not doing the great work that he did for us justice, but I will leave it there and we will post this up as its own posting on Media Monarchy where you can get the trailer, you can get the WTF episode, and you can get our transcript of the interesting parts. And again, you might go and be able to do more research on Dr. Terrence Owens. That's Media Monarchy. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. Since 2005... Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult, all remixed with music and media that matters. Go to MediaMonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent, non-commercial, alternative media going and growing. Thanks.